calculate the y and z parameters of the given two port network and uh, this is the two port network given in the question and uh, we are required to calculate the y parameters and the z parameters of this two port network and we know already the steps required to find out the z parameters and the steps required to find out the y parameters and uh, therefore i want you to pause this video and try to solve this question on your own done okay now we will understand the solution of this question and uh, first i will explain the conventional method and then i will explain the shortcut method and in order to follow the conventional method we will first mark all the currents and voltages of this two port network this is port number one or the input port and uh, let's say the input voltage is v1 and the input current is i1 this is port number two or the output port and uh, let's say the output voltage is v2 and the output current is i2 now when you focus on current i1 you will find it will be equal to potential at this point minus potential at this point divided by the impedance z and if i connect this point to the ground then potential at this point will be zero volt potential at this point will also be zero volt and therefore here potential will be v1 and here potential will be v2 therefore current i1 will be equal to v1 minus v2 divided by z v1 minus v2 divided by impedance z or we can write current i1 is equal to 1 over z multiplied to v1 minus 1 over z multiplied to v2 let's say this is equation number one and uh, now let us find out current i2 and uh, both i1 and i2 are the currents of the same branch but they are flowing in opposite direction therefore we can write current i2 equal to negative of current i1 and we know i1 is equal to this therefore we can say that current i2 will be equal to minus 1 over z multiplied to v1 plus 1 over z multiplied to v2 and uh, let's say this is our equation number 2 and uh, now when you compare equation 1 and equation 2 with the standard equations we have in case of y parameters you will find parameter y11 is equal to 1 over z 1 over z parameter y12 is equal to negative of 1 over z negative of 1 over z parameter y21 is also equal to negative of 1 over z negative of 1 over z and the fourth parameter y22 is equal to 1 over z so these are the four y parameters and uh, now we will find out the z parameters and uh, we know the z parameters matrix is equal to the inverse of y parameters matrix or we can write the z parameters matrix is equal to the adjoint of y parameters matrix divided by the determinant of y parameters matrix now when you calculate the determinant of y parameters matrix you will find it is equal to 1 over z 1 over z multiplied to 1 over z minus minus 1 over z minus 1 over z multiplied to minus 1 over z and uh, when you solve it you will find the determinant is equal to 0 and as you are dividing the adjoint of y by 0 
all the four z parameters will be equal to infinity or you can say that they will not exist. So we are done with the solution of the question following the conventional method and uh, now we will understand how we can find out the y parameters and the z parameters of this network following the shortcut method and in order to find out the y parameters we will transform this network to a pi network and it is very clear that this impedance will have infinite ohms of impedance why because here we have open circuit and open circuit offers infinite impedance similarly this impedance will also offer infinite ohms of impedance now if I talk about the admittance then this element will offer 1 over z mo of admittance and this element will offer 1 over infinite mo of admittance that would be 0 mo of admittance and this will also offer 0 mo of admittance and uh, we know parameter y11 will be equal to the admittance of this element plus the admittance of this element so we will have 0 plus 1 over z therefore y11 will be equal to 1 over z mo and uh, we know parameter y12 will be equal to parameter y21 and they are equal to negative of the admittance of this element which is 1 over z so we have negative of 1 over z as y12 and y21 and the fourth parameter y22 will be equal to sum of admittances offered by this element and this element so 0 plus 1 over z will be 1 over z we have the same result and now we will find out the z parameters of this network following the shortcut method and uh, for this we will transform this network to a t network and uh, here we have the impedance offered by this element equal to infinite ohms and the impedance offered by this element will be zero ohms why because here we have short circuit and uh, we know parameter z11 will be equal to the sum of impedance of this element and this element so z plus infinity will be infinity parameter z12 will be same as parameter z21 and they are equal to the impedance of this element that is infinity and the fourth parameter z22 will be equal to sum of impedances of these two elements 0 plus infinity will be infinity so in this way we are done with the question and now we will move on to the homework problem in the homework problem you are required to calculate the y parameters and the z parameters of this two port network so try to solve the problem and once you have your answer post it in the comment section